What's up, guys? This is Kairos. I'm back. Just doing a little, um, I guess it's what you call a vlog or, or an update. We're getting some um, figures here and there from everywhere. And um, <clears throat> just wanted to talk a little about the stuff I've been getting and uh, stuff that I'm going to get. And, um, you know, things like that, you know. Really happy with these two guys right here. Really awesome figures. I'm, I'm pretty glad that I, I picked them up. Uh, just great, great figures here. So, it's one of my favorites right here. Superman, Iron Man, Spidey. Just put some of, some of my figures out. Most of them I got them in my closet because I don't have a uh, special shelf like those D12. So I'll, one day I will get one of those or two to display my stuff. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah, I want to talk first about the uh, Marvel Legends um, comeback. Now, way, way back, uh, I used to collect Marvel Legends and Gundams. And, um,. You know, Marvel Legends were really the shit back in the day. So, I was really happy that they're bringing them back, Marvel Legends. Uh, so far, I got just a few of them. I didn't get, like, the whole waves, you know. But I, I got this guy right here. The Iron Man. <coughs> Excuse me. Extremist. Pretty happy with it. Um, I'm really glad that they're actually putting Ab Crunch Joint on these figures now. That's a big plus for me, you know, guys. Because I'm, like... All into the uh, articulation and the especially the app crunch, so it's pretty awesome. Um, really cool figure. I'm using tack to hold them in place. Never did use that, but it works pretty well. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this guy. I'm gonna get the um, other color variation because they made two of those, and also this uh, Bucky. Um, what do you call it? Captain America, pretty awesome. Great articulation. They're putting also the pivot joint on most of them now. So that's pretty cool. This is a new new type of joint they're using, uh, new technology. So I'm really happy with that. Also, you know, the app crunch. Um, really cool. But I do have to say that um, I was looking back at, I used to have the, uh, the other um, Captain America, the face-off Captain America 2-pack. And I have to say that that Captain America figure was more impressive than than this figure. And um, I don't know what it is, but um, I think that these figures are awesome. But they should be a little bit more impressive, you know. So I don't know. But maybe it's just because it's the first two waves or something like that. But um, I'm still pretty happy with the Marvel Legends come back so I will be getting some of them but not all of them got that um, really cool Colossus and um, that's a really nice piece right there my Bucky keeps falling I, I I don't really think he's Bucky I think he's Captain America but he's supposed to be Bucky so those are going to re-release the U.S. Agent, which I'll definitely get. So, yeah, really cool. Um, yeah, why don't we talk about some Hot Toys, which is the main thing, right? Um, yeah, I was kind of bummed that they are setting everything back, like the Iron Monger, the Luke Skywalker, the... Uh, the, you know, everything like the Red Skull, I'm, those are the figures I'm going to get. Um, and um, then I was thinking, wait a minute, this gives me more more opportunities to get other stuff that I want. Like um, the Takara Optimus Prime MP10, which I've been wanting to get for a long time now. So, I'll probably get that one because it was my, um, it was my birthday last week. But I didn't... <laughs> I didn't get myself anything, so I'll probably get myself 
the Optimus Prime. I don't know if I, uh, I'm not 100% sure because I'm getting the Joker this month, the Hot Toys Joker Nicholson. So uh, we'll see. Uh, maybe I will get him. I don't know, but uh, definitely want to get that um, Optimus Prime. It looks really nice and. As he was one of my favorite characters when I was a kid, so definitely get that. Um, oh yeah, the Hawkeye that they just uh, released pictures of. I'm pretty impressed with it. I like it. I I would I would definitely want to get it if if I have the chance of getting the Hawkeye. I will get the Hawkeye because he looks awesome. He looks awesome. He's just like the ultimate Hawkeye, and uh, I like the Ultimates uh, Avengers as well as the uh, Marvel regular Avengers. So. I think it looks pretty cool. So if I have an opportunity of getting him, because I have to get the other figures before that that I definitely have to get, like you know, the Mark Seven, um, the new oh there was a new picture just today of the new Captain America that's gonna come out from the movie. So that's gonna be pretty awesome. I have to get that. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of figures that are coming out, so hopefully I'll have some some room to get um, Hawkeye because I can't get everything. So, But definitely, he looks badass. He looks like he's an Avenger. If, if you're going to build your Avengers, you should definitely have your Hawkeye there, you know, because, you know, it's, he's one of the, I think he's one of the most famous uh, Avengers, right? I mean, you know, you know what I mean. He just, he look, he's a cool Avenger, so... Well, that didn't come out right. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to get the the Hawkeye, but uh, but definitely the Captain America and the Thor, and um, Iron Man. I'll try to get. Now I don't know because uh, I've been getting a lot of Iron Man, so maybe maybe I won't get the Mark Seven. So if that happens, I'll definitely get um, Hawkeye. So. <clears throat> Yeah. See, and oh yeah, I'm really, really uh, eager and watching and hoping that somebody, or you know, to see the Iron Monger because I'm really looking forward to that. That, that that's gonna be a beast. Now I was gonna show you. Uh, it says in the um, specs that he's 17 inches and 17 plus inches tall. Now the Sentinel is huge, right? Well, he's not even 17 inches. He's only, let's see, he's six, he's 15 and a half. So the Iron Monger is gonna be even taller than this Marvel Legends um, Sentinel, um, as you can see here. It's gonna be that much taller. It's cause it's gonna be like 17 inches and a half, something like that. So it's gonna be a huge, huge robot, and I'm into robots uh, as you can see I have multiple Iron Man and a Devastator and this Devastator here he weighs so much that my rotating table can't rotate when I turn it on so and he doesn't weigh as much as the Iron Monger so I'm, I'm thinking the Iron Monger is gonna be super heavy so yeah it's gonna be a beast you know um, so definitely looking forward to the Iron Monger and of course to Luke Skywalker. Big Star Wars fan I am, so just awesome and 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 the Joker. Oh my god, all these videos I've been seeing of the Joker, forget it. What a what a nice piece. Sorry. It's just an amazing piece of Joker. Um totally, totally in love with that figure. So can't wait to get that. Uh, that will be my uh, most recent get from Hot Toys. So yeah, hopefully I'll get it uh, maybe by the end of this month. I don't know. So I'm getting it from Big Bad Toy Store. So hopefully it'll be around the last week of um, April. Maybe I'll get it, or maybe at the end of April. I don't know. But I'm I'm really looking forward to to getting um, the Joker. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I bought these helping hands things for stop motion. It's a little off subject here, and um, 
these things, you buy them for like $5 a piece on Amazon and you can build like a little rig to help you with stop motion because I've been like playing around a little bit with stop motion. Um, the only bad thing about these um, hands is that from, you know, professional hands, like, you know, like the ones they use for stop motion, uh, you see these two little plates, they're not made out of steel, they're made out of some kind of bendable um, metal so they don't work as good. So they can't lift like really heavy um, puppets or figures. They can only lift like uh, per se like uh, you know a Marvel Legends uh, 6 inch action figure. Uh, barely they can lift those but they can lift like a, a 12 inch figure so and if you want to do like some really cool like uh, Patrick Bolvin animation um, you need to get yourself a real a real a rig which is kind of expensive you know so that sucks but these do uh, help a lot so yeah I've been like messing around with stop motion you know trying to get better so you probably be seeing uh, more of that in my videos yeah so oh yeah so like I was saying uh, since all the hot toys like have been pushed to you know further dates then I'll probably will be getting the Optimus Prime MP10 either this month or the next month I'm not sure, but definitely getting it. I should be. I should have got it when it came out because it's one of my favorite characters from the Transformers of all time. You know, so you know you gotta have your Optimus Prime. So yeah, and um, I think that's it. Yeah, just gonna be doing some stop motion stuff. You know, um, you're gonna be seeing some flying logos in the videos, um, stuff like that. Uh, this, this came with the helping hands, these magnifying glasses, because you have to take them apart and um, put this together. I put it like a, a big giant magnet at the bottom so it will be heavy, so I have a heavy base so it, you know, it will work better. So, yeah, I'll probably do some stop motion with the Joker when he comes in. That will be really cool. Um... Yeah, and, and that's that's about it, guys. Oh, yeah, the third-party Transformers. Um, I'll be getting uh, the Mecha Toys Devastator because I'm a big Devastator fan. So, um, that, uh, Mecha Toys Devastator is a third-party uh, company. Uh, it's uh, They're making a Devastator. It's smaller than this one, but it's freaking beautiful. Um, they, did, they just released the um, gel, yellow version. I think it's called the G2 version. And it looks really nice. If I could afford it, I would get that one too. But since I could only afford one, I'm getting the um, the second version, the green one. Because to me, Devastator should be green. But that yellow one looks freaking beautiful. So um, I'm definitely going to be getting the uh, Mecha Toys uh, Green Devastator shoe. They, they should be coming now with that in a few months after they finish with the yellow version because they're releasing two at a time and um, I'm glad that they don't cost as much as um, the TFC Devastator right here in front because this thing was freaking really expensive and I shouldn't have got it but since I'm such a big um, Devastator fan I, I had to get it so so yeah um, <clears throat> You know, fun times, guys, collecting. Um, a lot of stuff out there. Um, so I have to control myself because can't waste all my money on, on you know, figures. So I'm saving up. Um, I think that covers everything I wanted to talk about. So, yeah, I was pretty excited with that Joker, the Hot Toys. I mean, all the guys have been making really awesome videos with that figure. It is beautiful, man. The sculpting on that face, the purr system looks awesome. The expression on the face looks perfect, awesome. It's just the outfit. I love it. I love the bright colors. Just a, just an amazing figure. It shouldn't be that expensive. I do agree with some people saying that, you know, it's too expensive. It's an, it's a DX, and it, it should have came. I think it should have came with an extra head or something like an extra outfit but but it's a it's a great figure it's a great figure also i'll be getting the um 
but this is like far, far away. I'll be getting the Arkham Asylum Batman. So, and the Batmobile. So that'll be freaking awesome. I'm put them in my living room. Um, yeah, just really excited about that Joker. It looks beautiful. It's one of those um, pieces you have to have, you know. So, and uh, I'm 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 looking forward to also if, if Hot Toys is gonna make uh, a D a, a um, an Arkham Asylum Batman, then they have to make an Arkham Asylum Joker. So I'm really looking forward to that. And it's funny because I've always liked the Joker, and I've always wanted to get a figure, and I never got a Joker figure. After all these years of collecting, I've never had a Joker figure. I was going to get the DC Universe figure, but since there's so many of those figures, like DC Universe figures, that I was always busy getting something else, that I never got the Joker. But I was fond of that figure. So when Play Arts came out with this, I was like, man, I have to get this. So I, I'm, I got this, this this month, and now I'm going to get the Hot Toys Joker in the same month. So... You know, been collecting for years. I love, the, I love the Joker, and in one month, for in a span of one and a half month, I'm gonna be having two Jokers, which are freaking awesome. You know, because these figures are just really awesome. Sculpts, articulation. I mean, just freaking awesome figures here. So, all right, guys. So I think I've talked plenty and uh, if you have any comments uh, or things to say uh, let me know uh, just post them up and uh, I'll reply right away and this is Kyrus and really nice talking to you guys so I'll talk to you guys